Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to your soft tutorials. Today I'm planning to talk about defining our own custom functions in data view. What do you mean by the custom functions? If you see in data view, we have predefined functions like sum or upper, which I explained before. In one of the video, I explained about upper, uh, lower, those are the functions which is predefined by the mule soft if you want to write your own custom functions how we can define that how we can use it in the data view that is what i'm going to discuss today so as part of these tutorials i'm going to explain about the how we can define a custom function the syntax of that how we can type constraint uh, like uh, where you are passing the parameters const um, the type and all i'm going to explain then i'm going to explain about function overloading with the same name i can define multiple functions also that is what i'm going to show that so let's start what i'm going to do i'm going to take these data view samples and i'm going to take this data view translation if you haven't seen my previous video the data view translation how i have done it you can watch it in the above video now over here if you see i have access the elements over here in this example if you see over here what i have i have a input over here is active account or not this is under active it is coming as a true so after that i have another one customer under the customer is active account holder is account holder that is false it is written there over here and one more thing over here under address is primary it is a boolean what i want to do this in this example wherever there is a boolean variables are coming true or false i want to define that y or n if it is a true that i want to return as a y if it is a false i want to return as a n so for that let me see what i'm going to do in this i'm going to write a code over here is active account from where i can access it from the payload dot account details dot account dot is active if i access like this it is going to directly assign true or false right now similarly i'm going to write another code over here is account holder let me take it that is account holder is account holder is my variable name over here which is part of under customer so i just accessing like that one more thing i'm going to copy paste this is primary address is primary address and this is part of address so i'm going to say this address over here maybe i have a address is multiple elements are there i can take it from the first element itself if you want to iterate it and see we can do that also but as of now i'm going to take it the first element now if you want to define that also you can define that zero also over here that's fine now now if you see this one so this is going to directly assign the values right but i want to true or false should be converted as a y or n what i can do i can say over here if this is not is called null and as boolean is equal to is equal to true then i want to return as a y else i can take it similar way over here the code the complete code i'm going to copy paste else if this is not is called null and it is a false then i want to return as a yeah if it is none of them is matching the conditions the value might be not coming or anything then i can return null value okay that's simple i can write a code over here over here if you see if the condition is satisfied i'm going to return as y if it is a true if it is a false i'm going to return as a n else it is going to be okay there is a else is missing over here else it is a null over here now i'm going to copy paste similar code over here from here to here also but my input parameter over here 
to check this condition should be this one so i'm going to change it in all the places like so is account holder if it is coming as a true then it will return as a y is account holder if it is coming as a false it is going to return as a n if it is not coming any value it is going to return as a null so similarly can i write the same code over here also yes i can do is primary i'm going to check over here is primary i'm going to check it over here if it is a true it is going to return as a y if it is a false it is going to return as a yeah, I just request. Now, if you see this code, what is the problem? The same logic you are repeating multiple times. Is it a good idea to repeat the multiple times? The same code? Can't I reuse the anything code? So what is the functionality I'm doing over here? The Boolean value I'm converting into string. So I can define my own function to convert a Boolean value into a string value. I should be able to do this. overcome this kind of a repetitive code you can define your own custom function and re re you can reuse that so now i'm going to talk about that custom function so you can define a custom function in the data view under the header over here what is the syntax of that you need to say fun is the keyword then the function name then within the braces parameters you can have a multiple parameters then you can write your own logic this is how we can define a function clear now i'm going to implement the logic for this my function is i want to convert from boolean to string so i'm giving the name as boolean to string and if you see over here i'm taking the only one parameter is active i have as an input for this to check the condition so that means i should have only one parameter over here what you can do i can say boolean value then i have to write a logic over here what is my logic this is my logic this is the complete logic i can put it in the next line also but i will not have this value over here my value will be this one boolean value whatever the parameter it is coming that parameter i'm going to check it over here right so i'm just replacing this logic you can see now this is how you can define a function so what is this it is a defined function i can say custom function also data view custom function so this is clear so fun the function name and parameters and then you can write a logic over here after equal to i defined a function how to use this function now it is very simple copy this and now what i'm going to do i'm going to control v and it is required only one parameter right so this is the function name you need one parameter you are calling that function like this by passing this parameter this you are going to when i click on this control and this it will go to over here you can see the cursor over here automatically that function it is going to call over here so this is the parameter when you pass it the value will be boolean value it will go over here here now i can replace the same thing i need to call the function so i'm going to say over here boolean to string and in this case my parameter is going to be is account holder is going as a parameter similarly i can replace over here also calling that math function from this code that simple it is now see this how clear the code is now you have written the logic only once you are calling the function from here wherever it is required let me test it this how it is working let me see save this and right click run project so while it is running let me go to the my postman this is my url to test this flow and 
I'm passing this as my input. Under account, is account is a true, I'm passing. And under customer, is account holder, I can pass it as a true over here also. And you can keep it also false also, nothing uh, problem. Under address, is primary, you can see that is also, uh, that is having a false over here. So as soon as it is deployed, then we can test it this now. What is the expected output? We should get each primary address should be n and uh, each account holder should be y and then we have each account should be y. Let's see either it is deployed or not, still it is deploying. Now you can see it is deployed successfully. I'm clearing the log and submit this request. Now we can see that over here, the last is active account. It is y it is returning, each account uh, holder it is returning as a y, each primary address is returning n because of the is over here, the address, each primary address is false, that's why it is coming that way. That's simple it is using the custom function. Now imagine this code is written within this file. If I have another transform form, uh, message in my flow somewhere, I want to use the same logic. Should I define again over here and do? That's not a good practice, right? Again, I need to maintain two places the same code. How can I overcome this and reuse that code? You can do one thing, not only in the data view code over here, you can define this function separately outside also. Under SRC main resources, you can create a folder over here. I'm going to create a new folder that is Package, I can say that data view dot utils. It should be the dot click and finish. And it is not required to keep a in a package also. It is good practice to keep it. And under this, I'm going to create a file over here. I will say that custom utils dot dw data view language. With this extension, you need to save the file and click on finish now what you can do you need to copy paste whatever the function over here i defined i'm going to copy the complete code i'm going to put it over here now. this is how we can define separately now how i can call that function over here from this so if you want to call that function here in the data view what you need to do is you need to import that file first of all import the package name is dw colon colon utils colon colon the file name that is custom utils that is how you need to import that file now once you import that when you are going to call the function you need to call the function with the file name colon colon the function name this is the file name custom utils colon colon my function name is this one. So normally if you see that in my previous video, I have explained over here in this decoding and coding, if you see that importing this DWL core colon colon binaries, this is predefined bundle provided by the MuleSoft. This is the module provided by the MuleSoft. Now in my case, I define custom utils as a separate bundle. I defined only one method as of now in that bundle and I'm importing that bundle over here and I'm calling that bundle from here. Even though if you test it, it will work as exactly the same. That it's working as it is. Now, if we have another transform message also, you don't need to write that code. What you can do, you can import that file over here and you can call that functions how we are calling from this file. Similar way we can use it. That is how we can use custom functions. Now the second point over here, what I was telling is, now we have a constraint definition. The parameters, if you see over here, I didn't define any uh, type. If you want, you can define Boolean. This is a Boolean value. You can define that type constraint. When you define that, you don't have to check over here as boolean anymore because of the value is coming as boolean value okay that is how we can define the next thing 
the function overloading the function overloading is something i'm going to write a new function over here fun of going to say uh, so param one i will say number comma param two number so this function has two parameter parameter one and param two i want to sum up the two values this is how i can do i can have similar function over here the same kind of a function with the same name but i will have a more parameters param 3 that is number over here this is how we can define with the same name with a different parameter that is called as a function overloading the data view when you are going to call you can call that over here i'm going to say sum of two values what i'm going to do i'm going to say custom utils colon colon sum of say four comma similarly i can write one more line of a code over here sum of three values i'm going to have one more parameter that is three so when you call this function it is going to call the second one over here because of it has a three parameter when you call from this it has a two parameters it is going to call this function and it is going to calculate let me see that now how it is going to work just saving that is going to deploy it is deployed submit a request this is sum of two values i said four plus six i think so let me see over here what i passed over here four plus four comma six that is coming as a 10 and the sum of three values where i pass the three, three parameters is 13 total that is how it is working hope you are clear now so defining the function that is the fun function name the parameters and you know defining the constraint a type constraint that is how we pass it over here the type boolean or string whatever it is and then function overloading with the same function name we can define multiple function different uh, parameters try to practice more on this you can write your custom functions implement in your projects Thank you for watching this video that's it for today please like share subscribe netbook